Olive is an ostrich. She lives with her family in the outback. But Olive is very different. Olive's dad loves to run. Olive isn't a fast runner. Olive's mum enjoys laying huge eggs. Hmm. Olive doesn't like the look of that at all. Olive's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty roots to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Olive sneeze. But Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. until she popped up somewhere new. Olive found herself in a room with shelves and worktops piled high with mounds of Ooh. dust. She was wearing an apron decorated with pictures of violins, cellos and bassoons. OK. This place could do with a spot of dusting. Just then, two smiling woodworms <laughs> popped their head out of a dust pile. Oh, hello, said Olive. The woodworms vanished before popping up from another dust pile. <laughs> My, you're both quick on your feet. <laughs> I mean, tummies. Before either worm had a chance to reply, whoosh, a large net fell over them, sending clouds of dust up into the air. The dust made Olive cough. <coughs> Did I get them? Yeah? No? Ah, missed them again. As the dust cleared, she found herself face to face with a tall wolf wearing an apron just like his. Hello, I am Wolfgang Amadeus Wozart, instrument maker to the king. This is my workshop. Hi, Olive. Nice to meet you, Wolfgang. But, um, I don't see any instruments. This was a cello. This was a violin. And this was a bassoon to be played at the king's birthday concert tonight. Oh, I don't think you'll get much sound out of those instruments. This I know. It's those woodworm. As soon as I make any instrument from wood, they eat it. <laughs> if I don't make the bassoon for the king's birthday concert tonight, he will be very upset. You must help me, Olive. Olive thought hard. Well, if the woodworm, oh, <laughs> I mean woodworm, only like to eat wood, maybe you could make a bassoon out of something else. But what? Olive looked around at things in the workshop. Hmm. A vacuum cleaner, a bicycle pump. I think I may have an idea. With Wolfgang's help, Olive used the vacuum cleaner's bendy pipe to form the body of the bassoon. Then they used the top of the bicycle pump as its mouthpiece. Finished! Now to see how it sounds, yeah? Wolfgang placed his lips to the bicycle pump mouthpiece and blow. Is that how a bassoon is supposed to sound, Wolfgang? Wolfgang stopped playing and shook his head. No, that sounded terrible. Just then, Olive remembered how the woodworm had reacted to the sound. Hmm, those greedy woodworm didn't like the noise the bassoon made either. Wolfgang, you start to make your new wooden bassoon for the King's birthday concert. I think I know how I can keep those woodworm away. Olive blew into the bassoon as she marched up and down. The woodworm couldn't stand the noise and soon they wiggled away. And at last, Wolfgang finished making what would be his finest wooden bassoon. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Olive. Without your help, the concert would have been a disaster. Would you like to come as my guest? Um, I think I've heard enough bassoons for one day, thank you. <laughs> they both laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. OK, actually, I helped make a bassoon for a king. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> 